Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Sweet Solutions with your partner, Peter, and that would be me. Uh, this is episode six, and today we are going to talk about NetSuite integrations and how Seller Universe can help you with those integrations depending upon the integration it is. It doesn't really matter what the integration is, we can help you with it, but there are a few that some might think is an integration when maybe it's not. And what do I mean by that? Some of these third party applications that you may be interested in in implementing onto your NetSuite platform are literally built on the platform, therefore no integration is needed, but more so a configuration. So if you need that, or you have that type of uh, configuration or uh, product that you have, third-party product on your system that is built on the platform, we could potentially help you configure that. Uh, a good example of that is Squareworks. It's actually built right on the platform and it just needs to be configured and set up. But typically they would do the configuration with you. But if you need some adjustments or whatever it might be, we can help you with that. The other type is an actual integration that requires some sort of connector. And then these connectors allow data exchange to go back and forth so that the systems stay in sync with one another. These integrations can be a one-way exchange of data or bi-directional, meaning data is going back and forth to update maybe from NetSuite to, let's say, RF Smart or potentially to Polity, whatever the particular product might be that you're using and whatever the particular requirements are based on your applications that you're using in NetSuite. And that will determine the type of data that needs to be exchanged between the two systems. So we have what we call a connector which is the gateway between the two systems. We also have integrations which are uh, potentially a direct connection. Okay, so some of these applications come with their own connector. Uh, so we would connect with them directly. Sometimes we use a middleware like uh, Soligo, for example, where there's so a bit of mapping that goes on between the two systems. So therefore, we're mapping data from one system to the other, and then Soligo is that middleware that helps with that communication. Okay, so that's three types. We have a built on the platform, which is just a configuration. We can have some sort of a middleware like Soligo as an exchange of data between the two systems, or there might be a direct connector from NetSuite to the actual third-party application. Okay, so when it comes to integrations, as I mentioned, there's the ones that are built on the platform or it's a third party where you need some sort of connector. There's different types, really. So the, you have the third party connector. You could also maybe asking, well, what about e-commerce or websites? Those are still integrations. OK, some people use so Shopify, for example, for their ordering on a website. But that data still needs to get to NetSuite. So we use an integration to do that. And typically, especially Shopify, we can use Soligo, for example, or other types of middleware to communicate that data back to NetSuite and keep things in sync. If the third party software, meaning maybe it's not one of the NetSuite certified partners that are out there, which by the way, you can reach through the sweetapps.com and I'll talk about more of that in a moment. We can also do what we call a custom connector. Sometimes there's applications out there that don't have a pre-built connector, but they have what we call these open APIs. So these are like application um, protocols. So they are, it's a way of calling data from one system to the other, again, to provide that data exchange that I spoke about earlier. So they may have these open APIs, but then they don't have the connector or the logic or the programming behind it to actually support that. However, they probably have some sort of documentation or maybe a consultant that can help with that. Seller Universe can communicate with that part, that software, if you will, or that company, and we can work with them to get that connection to work for you. Okay, so it, again, it would have to be assessed how many hours involved, what are the requirements, what is it that you're looking to do to exchange data back and forth, what is critical to this actual integration. And we can work out, out those requirements with you, as well as that third party partner and actually create what we call a custom connector, which is basically some program that is done. Another thing with integrations I think is to be aware of is that integrations can also be done either real time. So maybe it's data, especially financial data or transactions that are happening, especially if they affect the GL in your general ledger for financial reporting reasons, you may want that real time value or real time data coming over. So as soon as it happens, you want to see that in NetSuite. So how do we do that? Again, it's just an application or a connector that's running 
uh, constantly, or maybe it's running every minute, for example. You can also do what they call this batch processing. So again, this is probably, these are integrations. Again, they could be programs or scripts or these types of integrations that we create, and they can run in these batch processing. So they're triggered by a certain, uh, based on a certain date and time. Maybe they run weekly, bi-weekly, maybe they run every day. Or maybe they run every hour. It doesn't matter. But they're essentially done in a batch. So you basically you're waiting for some data to collect or some processing to happen. You're going to check every hour, for example, to see if there's any data to come over to NetSuite. And at that point, if integration finds some data, it's going to bring it over. And it can happen in reverse, too. So we have data coming from NetSuite going to another application for whatever calculations or processing that it needs to do. Uh, maybe it's got something to do with a data warehouse and other reporting that you're doing. Regardless, this stuff can be run in batches. They could be run overnight. Maybe they run on the weekends only because they are, uh, take up a lot of resource in the system to actually run. So therefore, those are things you need to think about when you create these programs or integrations. Are they real time? Can they just run every once in a while? It depends upon, again, what your needs are. And we can help you with all of that. So again, just give us a call here at Cell Universe and we can help you with these integrations regardless of what they are. All right, now that we've talked about the various types of integrations and what they could potentially do for you, whether it be one directional, bi-directional type of data exchanges, and also what Cell Universe can offer for services, I'd like to take a moment to discuss some of the actual alliance partners that we have here at Cell Universe. So we're really a warehouse management type software. We have A2X, which is an automated e-commerce accounting, uh, Build.com build as well as Topalti, which are both AP automations. Uh, we also have Ship Junction, which is very popular with regards to shipping automation, especially if you're dealing with, um, you know, high volumes of shipment of whatever types of products you do. Uh, we also have Payment, Payem, it's uh, P-A-Y-E-M, and that is an integration that deals with like in managing uh, expenses, uh, just like credit cards and things of that nature within your company. We also have one called Anvil, which is more of the supply chain platform. In addition, there are many, many more out there. No matter what the application is, we can help you with that. As a tip, I would like to suggest that you go to sweetapp.com. So that's S-U-I-T-E-A-P-P.com. And when you get to this page, it has a bit of a search engine that you can use. Uh, to go and sort of look for the types of applications you may be looking to use, maybe because NetSuite's not quite doing exactly what you like to. Maybe it's not robust enough. Maybe you want to find something that's a little bit more robust, can help augment the system, you know, expand upon what it can already do. So these sweet apps or the sweetapp.com that is out there is a website that you can go to and you can actually do searches in it, all right? So you can search by your business need. Maybe it's got to do with warehousing or accounts payable or Dunning, whatever it might be. Okay, just put a look at the drop down there for that business need. Maybe you look it up by vertical, even language or countries. Uh, so those could be a little bit more specific if you need that. Uh, and once you do that, a lot of these particular third party, you're going to have, uh, they, they vary in different topics, such as e commerce, maybe it has to do with payroll, shipping, tax. Um, purchase orders, uh, integrations. So I mentioned that with like uh, integrations like middleware such as Lego is one of them. Um, there's also applications like Salesforce with CRM. There's other analytics out there. Uh, there's procurement, WMS, and wholesale. So there's a whole variety of suite apps out there uh, that are partners that are certified uh, that work with NetSuite. And again, please give us a call here at Cell Universe. We can help with just about anything as far as it go, comes to with integrations. We have a ton of experience here uh, with our teams that know how to do all this stuff. Uh, even if you ha have an integration and it's not doing exactly what you like to do, maybe you need some sort of a health check where we do some sort of a, a performance or a review or a review of how things are already set up in the system. Sometimes it's just a, a tweak on the configuration to help optimize it and make it run better. Whatever your situation is, please give us a call. We can help you. My name is Peter. I'm your partner here at Cella Universe, working with you, trying to help come up with solutions for you that we can help to optimize your system 
in any way that we can. So if you like this episode, please subscribe below and we'll keep you well apprised of all upcoming episodes in the near future. Again, happy to be here. We have plenty to talk about because that's what we do here with Peter, your partner. Thank you.